everybody, how's it going? We're back here once again for another Sunday stream. Uh, we are doing something a little bit different than usual. We are taking a look at uh, a huge chunk of Atari's early works. Uh, here with the Atari Vault on Steam. Uh, they kind of did something similar on the consoles called Atari Flashback. Uh, and with me here is uh, Phil Denolfo. Hello. Who uh, hosts our... Uh, Daisy or Update show, as well as uh, uh, does our website stuff and some writing and all that. And mm. uh, also uh, knows a lot about these early days. Uh, Atari was one of, was probably the first big company in the industry. Uh, there were lots of smaller companies. They weren't the first console. Uh, that was the Magnavox Odyssey and Ralph Bear. Uh, which mm. wasn't that one that had the the sheets that you put on your TV? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the early stuff kind of tended to use overlays like that. And it was just simple graphics, but had the the color stuff on it yeah. to make it prettier, I guess. Uh, but Atari, we're gonna kind of go through a lot of this stuff here. Uh, probably go through a arcade. I don't know why there's no audio from the game here. Hmm, that's weird. Because it has noise constantly. Yeah. This version, I don't know. We have to close it and start it again. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. This is the first time I've seen this, but uh, I guess I just do this. All right. We'll go right back to the other thing real quick. I'll start it up again. Mm. All kinds of weird stuff happening. Yeah. Oh, I got a second card here. There we go. That's audio. All right, we'll just go right to the game again. Code Mystics made this. The thing I love about this game is it turns off the audio when you go away from it, mm. which you never do when you're streaming. That never happens. Uh, all right, I have controllers set up here. We're just gonna go through arcade stuff first, then uh, VCS, then 5200. Yeah. Uh, try and go through as many of these games as we can. Also, this is controlling weird. Doesn't map anything to the D-pad, I think. No, which it is great. For some reason. What? Why? What did it just load up the Steam controller stuff? What the heck is this? <laughs> I've never. I, I even have DS4 Windows on. It should not recognize that there's anything else. Mm. Okay, here mm. we go. Up. Yeah, nope. The weird thing about this version of of the you know of the collection is it's completely different <laughs> than the console version yeah it's weird okay <laughs> defaults i don't care anymore all right mm. that's because it was tied to this game as well okay well whatever it's not yeah. okay now the controller's not working what is going on today yeah, this is ports. jeez i might as well do I have DS? Because uh, I restarted my system, that's why. Yeah. Duh. Because yeah, uh, I don't have it set to turn on. Yeah. Uh, okay, of this. course, when you turn it on, you're probably going to have to restart the game again, because of course you will. Now, I think it should work. Nope. Well. Nope, okay. That's fine. That's fine. We've fixed the main issue. Yeah. This is PC gaming sometimes. Yeah. When you play these weird, I don't want to open more controller, especially. Uh, I, I still have no idea why Sony hasn't released a proper driver for the DualShock Four yet. But... Uh, I think it's just developers need to incorporate it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's Cause... proper X input driver, but well, given that they got like uh, Horizon Zero Dawn PC port coming out this summer, maybe that's going to be something that they do as part of it. Because, because like there's companies that already do that stuff. Ubisoft yeah. just maps everything properly like it's a PS4 game. Yeah. All right, let's so go to the live screen. And everything, it's, it's great. It's like they make games on every platform. <laughs> All right, so we got Atari game, uh, Atari arcade games. How do I get to the other side? How does that work? Um, to get to the... With the controller. Yeah, it's uh, uh, L and R triggers, I think. None of those? Okay. Um, 
I could just use the touchpad as a mouse. <laughs> sure. So I got uh, Atari VCS stuff. Wasn't called the 2600 when it came out. Nope. That'd be around when the 5200 came out. Like, well, we gotta rename this other thing to make it sense. Why we call this 5200? Which I still don't know why it's called 5200. Because mm, it's twice 2600. Okay. That's good. Sure. Uh, let's go to the Atari, uh, the arcade stuff because you can see what these games are supposed to look like. Yeah. All right. This is uh, Asteroids, a classic. Yeah. There we go. I just press start to. That's right. It's one button. Well, there we go. Oh, that's using oh, D-pad. There's a teleport button. But yeah. This is a game you probably played a million Flash games, uh, clones of this. Uh, there are also a bunch of sequels uh, and clones that are around. It's also very loud. It's probably drowning us because it has, also has like the Jaws soundtrack going on. Yeah. Uh, you shut up. Also, this has weird glare on this. They have some dumb stuff, so we're gonna. That's a t that's asteroids. That's what it's supposed to be like. Okay, wait, audio, game volume, all, almost all the way down. So we don't need that much game audio. Mm. Display, vector, okay, none. No tricks to this. No scan lines, no nothing. Mm. And Asteroids okay. Deluxe is their follow-up. Uh, wait a second. There we go. The gallery has, like, all that scanned art book, uh, scanned manual stuff. Yeah. Uh, it has, like, different stuff for the each of the uh, arcade units, too. So I was like looking and, uh, you know, they have, uh, what is it, like the, the different cocktail units for some of this stuff. Oh, they added things to chase after you. Mm -hmm. All right. They also added a background. Yeah. Oh, which doesn't make sense for the game. No. It's just like game art. This is Atari style game art. But yeah, this is cool. Like these games are fun. Kind of ripping off uh, Space War a bit. That was yeah. the, one of the first video games. Oh. Uh, doesn't really matter too much. We're just going to buzz through these, so don't expect me to be playing a ton of these. This is Atari Baseball. Because why not? Well, okay. One I, yeah, never played, so I couldn't play uh, what am I doing here? Also, your, your Skype thing is on over the game. I can't have that. Blocking. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't know what, if I'm controlling. This looks. This looks like an Atari ass baseball to me. Yeah. So this is a sit-down cabinet. Oh, I'm hitting it and I'm going across the. Yeah. One, one person would be on one side of it. And okay. I hit X and I swung. Okay. I'm on the other side. I'm, what? I don't know what the controls are. That's maybe the problem with some of this stuff is just jumping into it. Yeah. Let me go main menu, see if it... No gallery stuff. So I have no idea how to play that game. And that's normal for a lot of these games. Uh, you jump in, they're very simple, but you might not know how to play them. Oh! This has more definition than uh, an Atari stick had back then. I don't know what that was. I'm just like flying around. This is basketball of some kind. Um, it's uh, maybe almost as oh. good as that. Kunia okay, I gotta hold. I gotta hold it to, for the distance for the shot. Hmm. Nope. Hey. Give me the ball. Hey, I scored! Alright, that's enough of that. Yeah, these games came out so long ago, they're not... They're not great games to play these days. Yeah, uh, some of them don't stand up. Like, the sports ones really don't. Yeah, especially when it's like literally X's and O's. Yeah. Uh, wait, I am offense. Yeah, so these are a lot of sit-down cabinets, so they're meant for you to play somebody on across the other side. Yeah. Uh, how do I do anything? No? 
I do like that they have the cabinet overlays here. The, yeah. The, the right side I'm picking cool. plays, I think. Hmm. And then how do I do one? How do I do the play? Yeah, just kind of. <laughs> well, if you could call those instructions on the left and right side, they kind of are. Okay, we got timers. Well, they're, not, they're nice in not letting me... Okay, I don't... X is to pick a play. And then nothing else. I don't. We're not gonna play that one. Yeah, uh... And also Atari Soccer. Back when Amer so. back when Americans really cared about soccer. Uh. Okay. There we go. Oh. Oh, we got walls. It's indoor soccer. Uh oh, I'm gonna get it. There we go. Ooh. Juke, juke, juke. Oh, I messed that up. It seems like one of the more playable ones of the ones that we've yeah. seen so far. Looks like actual humans. Mm. Oh, that was bad. Oh, I got around him. Oh, that, that ball just flew around him. All right, that's, that's enough of that. Yeah. We're just going to fly through this because this... Yeah, there's like games. 150 of them, and like the ones that we're showing now, I think are part of the DLC. Okay, this is Avalanche. Looks like Breakouts, or... No, what's the, the bomb game? Hmm. We're catching the bombs. Yeah, kaboom. Kaboom, that's right. Yeah. Stop all the rocks. So I remember watching like Giant Bomb's game room covers of these, all the games yeah. that came out on there, and they had kaboom, and they're like watching to see how many, like what the best score was, and it was a, I think it was on console? Oh. Yeah, uh, I don't know what there we go. This is a thrilling game here. <laughs> it's very, uh, very simple. This is them saying, hey, we got Kaboom. Let's make uh, a different version of that. Which was a lot of games at that point. Oh. Uh, this was probably a paddle game. Yeah. So you had like a little knob that you move back and forth. Yeah. I'll give you a finer from your hole because. The analog stick probably is making it flip all over the place. Which can be helpful and bad at the same time. Yeah. yeah. I could probably... Eh. Game over. That's fine. 183. Mm. That seems like an okay score. Uh, Black Widow. Not the Marvel character? No. The uh, Victor game. This one's oh yeah, this one. Okay, I know what this one is. Shoot bugs, then tag grub stakes. All right, that shows that's, the thing. That's some instructions there. <laughs> uh, press start to begin. Oh, I did press. Push left stick. What's left stick? Okay, I pushed something. Okay, and this looks really nice. It's uh, has a really nice look to it. Oh. Okay, using the face buttons for this, not the right stick. Okay. Also very loud. That was it. That's good. Yeah. See, these games meant to uh, like uh, separate you from your money. Yeah. Very, <laughs> Very much. Like the the beginning of Atari was essentially uh, Nolan Bushnell coming up with Pong and making an arcade cabinet for the local bar at Stanford uh, and getting a call. Uh, his machine's broken. And comes to find out, it's because it's full of cash coins jammed up <laughs> it's like oh, this game's super popular oh this i know this game it's not a very good game you're trying to bomb here and take out as many of these uh numbered 
rocks, I guess. Uh, the great thing about Atari VCS games is that there are various modes that have various changes. And uh, that's a real weird thing. It was built into the console itself. It had mm -hmm. this mode changing option, which is just very weird. Okay, we're ahead. Yeah. Two misses left. We're yeah, destroying them. Some programmers uh, use the mode switches for um, actual other other controls for the game. Yeah. yeah. Or that might be how they do multiplayer. It might be single player is the first one. Yeah. Multiplayer is number two or whatever. Yeah. And there's a there's an Atari version of this. Just bomb the other plane. Boom, that's how you win. Boom, there we go. Oh, I hit the plane. Yeah, we'll it. eventually get to Major Havoc, which uh, is uh, quite a bit more of a complicated game than you would think would show up in an arcade at that time. Yeah, sometimes devs went for it. Yeah. They figured out how to make something more complicated. We already got the win. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. There we go. All right, that's enough of that. That's an okay one. Uh, Centipede, very much a classic. Yeah, yeah. everybody knows John Centipede. And wait till you see the Atari version, the, the console <laughs> version. It's, it's uh, a little bit different. Uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. This one uses the stick. Shoot the the spiders. You generally want to destroy the mushrooms. Yeah. Uh, if you can, but you want to take out. This is basically a Space Invaders clone. Uh, but you can move up. It's a pro tip. Oh, crap. All right. Yeah. This one played with the trackball, so you know, it's probably a lot better. Than yeah, that. it works pretty well on the stick. Oh. And then they made a sequel, Millipede. It's yeah, basically the same game. Kinda. Faster. Yeah. Um, more bugs and stuff that came out here. And there's a bunch of clones of this. Like every single decent game here, there are multiple clones. Yeah. There's one called Buzz Bombers. Mm -hmm. That is the same concept except bees yeah. coming out of a honeycomb. And it's also, uh, at least from the what I saw of the game... Uh, room version is that they only have one audio channel so your shots take up the audio that the music is trying to do so it yeah. fills in as it as you're playing it goes out which interrupts we, itself yeah which you did all right there 6,000 not gonna play it again uh, Crystal Castles which is a fairly complicated game uh, for its day yeah uh, collect, collect all the things, and there are secrets. Mm. I know a couple of them just from Jeff Gerson mentioning them. You just go back here and jump. I think. I'm not sure if there's one here as well. There's a couple. Well. Bye. Bing. Out of here. There's a couple of jumps, secret jumps to get around. Oh. There's also a jump itself, I think. There we go. Let's get over here and get up here. You want to collect all these dots? Nope, that's not it. I forgot the... Oh, here. Nope. I know just enough to play poorly. This is at least more interesting than you expect. This probably is a later game, hmm. I assume. Late 70s, maybe early yeah, 80s. Well, this, was, this was early 80s. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the graphics especially are much better than most everything else. Okay, you guys can have... Oh, the tree came after me. It's also a very abstract game. It makes no sense. Yeah. Oh. Well, you do remember most of these games were created on drugs, so... Um... This one especially. Ooh, I got the top score. All right. Mm. Uh, how do I enter... Okay, there we go. Yeah. These games control differently each time, which is very good for games right. that are mostly a stick and a button or two. There we go. There's all your hints. Thank you for telling me after I played it. Yeah. Also, you notice the names. 
That's my name, my initials. Mm. Just made a stage out of that. Like there'll be names of devs in this. Why am I still playing? I don't know. It's a fun game. I, it wouldn't <laughs> let me out. Uh, what is this? Destroyer. I don't even know that one. Uh, you're trying to sink ships. Also has an overlay. How? Okay, there we go. I'm the ship up top. I'm not actually controlling it. Oh, mm -hmm. there's a depth. So. I can say, hey, we're going to go after this thing. Okay. This is complicated for what it is. Yeah. Uh, but trying to line this up uh, is not easy. Okay, so apparently uh, nobody can hear me. They can't. Let me see. Hold on a second. Stop. There we go. Uh, say something, Phil. Uh, I'm saying something, and hopefully I'll be able to be heard. You should be. You're showing through the desktop audio on here. Okay. So, we'll see if it goes through. All right. It should be okay. I don't have anything else going on here. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, you want to try to check, check stream later because I've got uh, Skype audio and stream audio going through the same thing, so I can't, yeah, it's, can't be sure. That's the problem with this. Mm. Hey, we blew something up. All right. Yeah. Same there. Boom. All right. That's enough of that. I think this had one of those weird uh, periscope controllers, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, you can see like there's the the stick you pull yeah. down for the depth and the big button to push. Yeah, kind of elaborate. And one. stereo audio. Oh, that was. Uh... Speakers on both sides. Yeah. I like that you can spin the cabinet around. Yeah. Don't like that it doesn't give you like options or uh, information. Like here's who made this game. Yeah. Uh, a lot of these games are made by one or two people. Yeah. Uh, Dominoes. Is this Dominoes? They made an Atari game or uh, yeah. an arcade game. Okay. Yeah. Is this? I don't know if I'm controlling anything. Okay, yeah, I am. This is the the Tron racer, <laughs> I think. I have no idea what's supposed to be happening. Like it's like partially Snake, partially the Tron racing. So this guy's just basically. Oh, I hit it and it fell down. Okay, that's a nice little gimmick there. More interesting than the the typical. Why did you play Snake and all that? Mm. Or try and block him in here. All right. There we go. He's blocked in. He can't do anything anymore. Hey, he's dead. There we go. Yeah, yeah this this yeah, is yeah. that Tron racing game, but with dominoes. Really out slower. <laughs> Initially. Mm. Well, he's just screwing around. Hey, you're dumb. All right. That's that. Yeah, that's, that's Domino's, all right. Our first uh, weird game, this two-player. This is a weird two-player uh, driving uh, setup for fire truck. Mm. All the names for a lot of these games are very simple. Yeah. Because uh, they were the first game to be called this, usually. Usually. Uh, press start. Uh oh. Okay, so this is one of those um, drive along the road and don't hit things. Alright, how do I go? Okay. They put this on the triggers. They really need to actually explain how. Oh, crunch! <laughs> you just exploded. Alright, we're just gonna drive like this with the. That's. If, you, if your fire truck looks like that, you, you've got issues. All right, here we go. Is. Also, this being the audio probably annoyed so many people back then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. There well, we go. That move is way different than I would have expected it to. Okay. 
Also, this looks way better than any racing game at this time on Atari. Mm -hmm. Which would just be, like, literally dots on the sides of the, the road. Yeah. To signify that you're on a road. Whereas this has clearly designated... Oh! This fire truck is at least resilient. I have 20 points somehow. We're just trying to get to the fire. Before you run out of fuel. Ah! Uh, we got... 90 seconds worth of fuel. That's not enough. Should have gotten mm. enough gas. Oh! Alright. Sorry. And exploded there. Uh, okay, we got... That's, that's a weird game, but kind of neat. Yeah, I like how the road just, like, randomly gets wider and then narrow again for no apparent reason. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is what, Missile Commander? Another classic yeah. game? Missile Command, yeah. But probably, like... No, this is a... Ah, uh, wait a second. Game. Okay. No, this is Gravatar. That's right. right. So this is like Asteroids and Moonlander. Where you go into these different areas. Now you take out enemies. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm going here for certain amounts of points. There we go. Black hole of the thing. Oh! <laughs> right into the ground. <laughs> That's not going well, mate. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there was a game on PSN that was basically trying to emulate this game. Hmm. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's Gravity something. Hmm. But it's this kind of same kind of style. But looked really good for... Oh! That's... This is hard to control. Mm. We're done. We're done. That's Gravatar. That's a pretty cool game. So have you ever seen uh, a vector game, like, in person? Probably not. No. Most of my arcade gaming was going to a local restaurant with my dad that had Pac-Man and... I forget what the golf game is. Yeah. The, the one golf game with the, the ball, which would spin. Whatever that is. Uh, yeah. yeah uh, a vector display is a very distinctive look, and you can't get get it on, uh, like, a LCD or... No, it has a, yeah. a definite look to it. Yeah. Also, this is, like, Reverse Warlords, I want to say this game is. Oh, this is, like, Missile Commander, okay. Like first person missile commander. Mm. All right, we got the Earth. We got the Earth. Earth is okay. That's a weird Earth, but whatever. Yeah. Earth is uh, not happy with us apparently. There's Australia right there. Uh, how do I lose shots? Uh -huh. Oh, there we go. Save that one. Hey, we got two. Hey, rookie. Concentrate power, power. Power on planet missile bases to easily destroy your enemy. Sure. Oh, this is ugly earth. This is what earth is going to look like in 20 years. Oh. Alright, there we go. So that's probably one of the most playable games so far. Cool. Lunar Lander, so here's the hard version of Gravatar. Yeah. Where you can't shoot. You crash into the ground all the time. Uh, let's see, okay, there we go. And it's got like points here for... Uh, where you want to land. Yeah, you know, the difficulty of the landing spot. Alright, we're going way up. Eventually we'll land. We'll crash, and then we'll skip to the next thing. <laughs> yeah. This is really slow. 
<laughs> yeah. It's, uh, coming down eventually. Vertical speed is going pretty fast now. Yeah, and uh, I don't think you're going to be able to slow yourself down enough to uh, before you go boom. I can. Mm -hmm. I got fuel. And make sure to let you know how long this is taking. Yeah. Can't turn all the way around to my ship, so. All right, we're gonna go this way. Oh. Jesus this is really, really slow. The thing is, when I have it like this, oh, it goes me. down. Yeah, it's. Now you're going up again. Training mission, okay. The weird thing is, when it's going, it it changes back to straight down. It's like I can't. Now I can turn all around. All right, we'll just blow our fuel because that's more interesting than whatever else is going on here I don't know what all this mission is yeah I'm doing the thing apparently thanks for covering it yeah. there we go something okay we got speed it's telling us which directions we're going We got twenty point two twenty point spots there. All right, not too bad. Oh my god, this is yeah. slow. <laughs> two X points if we can get back. All right, we're, we're not finishing this. This is taking okay. too long. <laughs> uh, major havoc. All right. Yeah, you were talking about this. Yeah, this one's really interesting. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. The stage where you're doing that. Oh, it's like a uh, Galaga, but kind of 3D-ish. Yeah, nice, nice perspective. Use of perspective there. Um, I got a dock. Okay, I know this game. It's a really bad platformer. And you can die walking off of ledges. Yep. <laughs> uh, this is what platformers used to be like, where they did not care. Yes. If you also got turned into a skeleton. Because of whatever that is. Mm. Bit of electricity. Yeah. Dead. Mm. Oh. Hit my head. This doesn't look too bad on that. Yeah, on an LCD. But, oh, um, that's a, okay. I was surprised yeah. I didn't die. Oh, there we go. Yeah. At least that's less uh, obstacles. <laughs> Follow arrows and touch reactor. Exit maze. Okay. Yeah. Oh. This is like where you, you got to get to the the reactor, touch it, and then get out because it's going to explode. Oh. All right. Ninth best score. <laughs> from doing that. Yeah. Free well, play. It's, it's surprising. Well. Yeah. Let's see. Maze Invaders. Okay. This yeah, is a... Um... And of course I like the pretentious nature of the MCML XXXI yeah, uh, for the year. Right <laughs> yeah. Like anybody could... like. Just like your dad who doesn't know Roman numerals. Uh, sure. What? What? Okay. In maze 15, 10,000 points. No idea what's going on here. It's like dumb Pac-Man. 
Like we're trying to get everything here. Hey, an exits. Triple oh. bonus. Collect the things and then exit. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. It's like Pac-Man uh, Championship Edition. Uh, oh. Those, those are huge eyes. Okay, uh, that's, yeah, this, this is weird. You walk up in the doors, move. That's weird. Oh, I got all the fruit, though. Your life at 20,000, okay? Get out of here. Okay, 10,000, okay. I love the audio here. Mm -hmm. Of a uh, sound for every step you take. Yeah. There we go. We're gonna get the twenty thousand. Get another life. Cause we want this to keep going. <laughs> no, we don't. Mm. Even if you're just going up against the wall, it still makes noise. There's the life noise. Triple bonus. There's a, something shooting. Alright. That's not too bad. That's a weird Pac-Man. Better than a lot of the follow-ups to Pac-Man. Yeah. Oh, this is Millipede. Okay. I like that it has a, a track screen that actually explains what's going on. Mm -hmm. Not many games did that. There's the DDT spray. To kill some of the bug. Mm. There we go. Oh, oh! Everything moves down. Mm -hmm. They said, "Hey, this is pretty cool in uh, Space Invaders. Let's move everything down." What is this? A ladybug? And also, you can shoot uh, as soon as one of your shots gets off the screen. Yeah. So if it's real close, you get a bunch of shots of real fast. If not, they stay on a while. Oh, there we go. Oh, dodge all the bugs. Well, thank you for all the, the extra mushrooms. That was nice of you. Oh, and they limit the amount of the screen you can go on. All right. That's enough of that. Hmm. Here's Missile Command. A classic. We got this one cursor. You set up these shots. Ooh. To take out these missiles. This is the, uh, the Star Wars defense plan. Uh oh, out of shots. Oh, that's right, you got different shots. There we go. Cancel all your shots. Hey! Mm -hmm. This is one of the few games that actually does well on a stick. Yeah. Because you're moving with it. It was just a trackball, but with a stick it works pretty well. And last gen was big on these sort of arcade ports. Uh, as was a lot of the earlier XBLA stuff was this yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah. And then they put it in game room. Yeah. So you could pay for it again. I, I kind of wish game room would come back, to be honest. Yeah, that would be interesting to see. Monte yeah. Carlo. Uh, a racing game that hopefully plays well. All right, thank you for using triggers, I guess. Not telling me ahead of time. Yeah, that seems to be what the... Oh, it's, it controls exactly the same as that fire truck one. I'm getting lapped on the easy track. Mm. Oh, I got a... Okay, oh, I got a gear. gear. I got to do gears. This is complicated. Oh, yeah. Mm. And you died. <laughs> sort of. 
Oh. Stop putting the explosives on the side of the track. We only so much fuel. Oh. Overcompensating. Yeah. I think it was out of wheel when it originally came out. So yeah. Sort of in the uh, cabin. Whoa. Thing. It's very sensitive on the turns. Yep. The so stick has more sensitivity than this, the, the the wheel did. Mm. Probably. Yeah, I got him to crash. Oh, I did it again. And then you crash yourself, so... <laughs> hey, that's how much I could do. Overhead racing games. That's a lot of what racing games were, is you raced until you had no fuel. Yeah. All right, now here's the one that started all Pong. Pong. Mm. Which, have you seen that they have a new Pong out? Pong Quest? Yeah. It's like a... An RPG? Yeah, and it's apparently insane. Yeah. All right, I lost already. There we go. Well, at least they gave you an AI to play against. Um, if you could call it that. <laughs> Oh, it's better than me. Oh. Uh, Up. Oh. nothing, jeez. Too much definition in the it's sticks here. Yeah. There we go. We got a score. All right, that's good enough. We won. Yeah, you scored once. Yay. Pool Shark. All right, our first pool game. Uh, let's see I how this... I remember this one. This was actually kind of fun. All right, put this somewhere. There's something wrong with the proportion of those balls. How... How does game control? I got 17 seconds to figure out, so I'm pressing all of the buttons. I don't know how this one plays. Options, controls, move. That's it. Try this one again. Reset this. All right. It has a stick there. Am I literally just hitting it into the balls? What? Yeah, this is. Yes. All right. This this is how pool works. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the thirteen ball. Everybody knows that one. This is how kids play pool. So they made this an arcade game. This is how no other pool game controls, as far as I'm hey, concerned. There's something wrong with this portions of this table. Yeah, that was made by people who do not know what pool is. Yeah. It has pool to be. High. Probably all three. Uh, maybe. Yeah, this is just weird. All right, well that's enough of that. That's that's a pool game. Sort of. Red Baron. This one was pretty cool. This is our first like 3D vector game. Flying. Yeah, there we go. Uh, following uh, Battle Zone, I assume. Yeah. Which, Which also uh, isn't in this pack. No, because uh, Rebellion owns it now. Because mm. they made the VR game, yeah. uh, which is pretty cool. Now you can play without VR. Wait. I can go up and down. Up, oh, shoot the shoot the thing. Red. Kill the Red Baron. This is World War One. Nobody's a good guy here. Yeah, just just shoot everybody. Figure it out later. Well, we just went past him. Okay, I just crashed. Stay far away while you're exploding. Yeah, there we go. I don't know, just moving. I don't think I can crash into the ground. Behind me? Oh! It's cool effects, though. Yeah. Skydiver, I don't know what this is. 
Okay, this is probably. I can. I could probably figure this out. Some sort of a plane or something. I don't know. <sighs> Dead. <laughs> like you want to let them out and have them use the chutes. Oh. There we go. That was some button. Three misses per player. Okay, well. Let's try that once more. There we go. I hit that one. Might be severely dead, but. Only slightly dead. Very annoying audio. Very annoying mm. audio. Uh, let's see. Space Duel. Yeah, this is, uh... Got space in the title. Uh, wait. How is select game? Okay, there we go. One player. No asteroids? Oh. Oh, I crashed already. This is, this is asteroids with color. I got a shield. Not sure how to shoot. I was shooting at one point. There it is. These rocks look really weird. Yeah, Game Room had really good like explanations of the games and like the history of them. Yeah. Who made them and all that. And people who made this said, no, we're not doing any of that. Yeah. Not doing any of that. And uh, at games who did the console port did all of that. So. Yeah. yeah. It's a rare instance where the at games version is actually better. Ooh, Sprint. This is a classic style of game. This is yeah. a much more crude version than what most people probably know. Yeah, most people know Championship Sprint. Uh, this is where it started. Uh, I, I must be the white one that's going off course. Yeah. Okay. Oh, crushy, crushy. Oh. And, uh, yeah, no car ever handles like this, so that, that's okay. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> it's stuck against the wall. Super Breakout, alright. A game we can all understand. Uh, yes. Uh, wait. Oh! Started all the way over here and shot it to the left. Yeah. Okay, there we go. The original breakout was uh, done by Steve Wozniak, so, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, one of the top people at Apple. Yeah, and Steve Jobs screwed him. Yeah, then he just plays uh, Game Boy Tetris. Yeah, he, he, so he's like he one does. of the best players in the world at that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this is, this, this is a super breakout. Yep. There's eyes going nuts up there. Oh. Yeah, those are extra balls if you... You, know. you get multi-ball. Yep. Get all multi -ball. Ooh, almost there. Oh. You got 16 points. There. Just in case you're wanting... When, one uh, point at a time. That's when scores are not inflated. Super mm -hmm. bug. Alright, so that means triggers, probably. Yes. Hey, we did that. So we start slow. So this is kind of what uh, racing games on the Atari uh, 2600 looked like. In terms of, yeah. they had like things on the outsides of the track. Yep. None of the other stuff, but... Oh, we're going up this way. Yeah, this one seems to... Um control a little bit better. Yeah, this one's it. not too... Oh, we're supposed to go down. Oh, crunch. Oh, this is a fire truck sequel. Or prequel. Also, I like the look of the dude on the, the arts there to the right. Mm. And he's like super bug. I guess that makes sense for the name then. Mm. He decided to take a Volkswagen Beetle and put um, monster truck tires on it. Yeah. Why not? Sure. I'd do something in California. Oh, you parked on the wrong side of the road. Oh, that's the right side of the road. 
That one's out in the road. Jeez. I guess somebody should have a ticket. Where are the cops when you need them? Uh, they don't exist anymore. I saw the dude in the, the monster beetle. He <laughs> said, no, we're not. We're done. Can't beat this. I have no idea if there's an actual order to this track. All right, well that's super, super bug, Tempest. All right, mm -hmm. the game, knows this game, a game that uh, Jeff Minter would uh, rip off over and over again. Yeah, and get paid to do it because. <laughs> they make official sequel. Yeah. Tempest yeah. 4000 that that's a, nobody knows about really. Yeah, nobody knows about it, but it's it's out and it's good, and I should get it if it ever goes on sale again. Here's a good strategy, just keep going, shoot everything. It works for a little while. There we go. Until the spikes start showing up. Oh, alright. That's Tempest, that's pretty cool. Warlords, the last one of the, ar uh, the arcade games. Yeah, and this is... Another classic. It's like a breakout, but you can catch the ball, and there's four of the people. There's yeah. a dragon. And you have to basically blow up their, the other castles and keep your castle from getting exploded. Oh. Oh, no, you're not doing that to me. There we go. Mm -hmm. Cool audio Boom. in this game, too. In the arcade version, at least. Yeah. This was a paddle game? Yep. Four player paddle game. I know Giant Bomb did like money games of this uh, when they had one in the studio. Mm. Got that. We're losing so fast, so bad. Castle's not looking so great. That's the strategy. Make them disregard us. As a threat. So you can just go right through our castle. It's a good strategy right there. Mm -hmm. Boom, you're dead. Oh, there's two balls. Because it's got to go twice as fast now. Oh, that guy's got way open there. I just got to block the one hole. Oh. Nope. S stay away from me. Nope, stay, stay away. Hmm. You think they remake this at some point? They made an XBLA port, and probably other ports as well. Yeah. There's that South Park one. Hey, we're second to last. All right. Oh. I'm good with that. Jesus, scrolls right through the letters as fast as anything I've ever hey. seen before. <laughs> Trackballs. Yay. Great, uh... Oh, it's corresponding to the... Okay, I see. Game over. Yep. Alright, it's all the Atari uh, arcade stuff. Yep. I'll just use my touchpad. And I'll show you what the Atari uh, ver video computer system could do. Yeah, not much. <laughs> this is 3D uh, tic-tac-toe. Yeah. There's probably regular tic-tac-toe. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, sure, okay. Players one. I gotta pick where I want to go. It goes black because it has to figure out where the AI is gonna put its thing. <laughs> yep. It's uh. Oh. I could not spare any CPU to draw while uh, the AI was thinking. Okay, let's see. Let's go this side. Uh. I wanna go this way? Okay, you don't. Oh, nope, beat me. Okay. No, That's I don't a tic tac toe game. That's mm -hmm. tic tac toe. People paid real money for that. Yeah. It has nine video games in it. Apparently. Some of the box art has the graph of what all the different games are. Yeah. And here's like showing you the different stuff here. Well, at least we got that. Yeah. Owner's manual. This is how the, the Atari video computer system works. This is pretty cool. 
can hit D-pad to zoom in. So this is how games connected to TV in the 70s. And do we have coffee stains on this one? Uh, I don't know. There's uh, hole punches. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's authentic. There's the parts list. Joystick controller. This is uh, inverted. So that's good. There's what problems you might have on your, t your Atari VCS. So yeah, here's like all the inputs here you had mm. on the front of it. Here's your power switch, your TV type switch. Right. Is that like I three or four? Sure. Okay, that's okay. I wasn't sure if it was the channel three or four thing. Mm. There's uh, your game program slot and that game cartridge. Mm. Uh, left to right difficulty switches, uh, game select switch, and game reset switch. Change your TV back to regular programs. <laughs> Turn it off. Assemble console. It's not too hard. Looks like it. And here's all of the uh, the stuff that might come in your box. Joystick controllers, paddle controllers, combat game program, TV game switch box. Which I think this was yeah, this was a fairly early revision of the console. It looks like. Yeah. yeah. Alright, what is this? A game of concentration. Alright. You know how fun card concentration is. This is even more fun than that. Can't show you all the numbers at once either. Mm. Uh, oh, I gotta pick a number. Okay. Give me. Nope. How do I pick? Everything is not. Oh, it's moving on its own. <laughs> no, because I'm. I'm hitting things to change numbers. It's like every button on the controller corresponds to different numbers. Oh. So like that's one and eleven. This is two and whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, don't know. I don't it's know how this controls. Good. It's not dumb worth game. it. Dumb It is a very dumb game. Uh, Adventure. One of the most acclaimed games on the system. Introduced the idea of Easter eggs, Easter eggs and kind of a more complex uh, uh, goal, essentially. Mm. All right. So you got to go get this key. Take it to the door so you can go in. Now you got a sword. It looks like an arrow, but that's a sword. I assure you. There's a dragon. It's not a duck. Uh, I don't know how to find the Easter egg, but you can look it up because they used to not let them put their names on the games. Yeah. Uh, Atari was very paranoid about other people stealing their people. Yeah. Uh, which was probably a realistic thing. Yeah, because Activision happened. <laughs> yeah. Now uh, we're stuck here. Yeah, so this is like a maze game, but also. Duck dragons up here. Ducks and dragons. Oh, I got this. I don't. I don't know what this is. It's a thing. Nope. There I can go right there. I need to get my sword back. I need a key, I think. I just walk right. What? What is going on? I don't know what's going on anymore. I turned black. Everything's flashing. I don't. This I don't. I can respawn. Mm. That's weird. Okay. Mm. Uh, I guess they made an adventure too. I did not know that. I can change that. Dragon fleas never. Oh. Color TV. Okay. All right. Oh. Bat coming around. What? This is sometimes what Atari games were, just you go like to another side of the screen and yeah. things change, and you're like, oh, I guess no, we're doing this now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dragon, get away from me. I need a key. I got a key and a bat, whatever this is. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, oop. Uh, but yeah, so Atari was kind of the biggest company for a while. 
Uh, they were basically games. You just had the Atari, in the yeah. same way that people had Nintendo in the late eighties. No, yeah. and then a whole bunch of really crappy games started to come out, and then everything went. And they yeah. sold themselves. They got sold to Time Warner. Yeah, which is never really a good sign. No, and they had their uh, super successful yeah. businessman that came in and said, "Hey, let's run this like a good company." Hmm. And ran into the ground. Nolan Bushnell got out. Okay, we didn't do anything. Yeah, air raiders. Oh. I tried no. too early. Oh. I don't I don't even know what the heck I'm supposed to do there. <laughs> That's why we have manuals. Yeah. Out of the game is to blast enemy aircraft out of the sky. Uh, how do I get off? Take off. Start a game. After you refuel, press the red button. The runaway lights appear to move as your plane starts to move. When you gain speed, pull back on the joystick for takeoff. Yeah, so if you don't know, the Atari uh, 2600 had a joystick with four directions and a button. Mm -hmm. That was it. Yeah, oftentimes, it oftentimes they made each direction a separate control mm. thing. Air Sea Battle. Uh, I forget what this one is. Okay. We got uh, Dix here. Floppy Dix. We're trying to shoot at these uh, airplanes. Uh, yeah. You can make them uh, however erect you want it to be. Oh, I was close. There we go. Ooh. Oh. Was... As it's a two-player game, I'm playing one player. <laughs> so it's easy. Yeah. That also probably maybe change the, the options. Aqua Venture. I'm assuming this is... Okay, no. I was going to say it was like adventure, but uh, in the water. Oh. All right. Okay, here we go. I'm a swimming man. I'm shooting all the fish because they pose a threat to me, I guess. Mm. And a lot of these games. Ooh. Whoa, these. It's just changed art style. What the heck? That's a completely different art style than was there before. Uh oh, that's that's a weird game. Yeah, that's that's the thing, all right. M Network. What is this M Network stuff? Yeah, they're uh, they make a couple of were cup. I guess they were third party. They're unlicensed. Or whatever Maybe like for your yeah. Atari asterisk video game system. What's mm. the asterisk mean? Not uh, official. Or compatible. <laughs> Black 25 blue. Oh, this is combat. Basically. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, okay. I think combat's better. Yeah. Asteroids, alright. You know what asteroids looks like? Yeah. Uh, we'll show you... Oh, this is the 70s version of Asteroids. said, hey, we got colors. And also, this does not look like a ship at some times. I want to say this is a game that you kind of can't lose too easily. Because it gives you lives constantly. Also, you can notice the music stops when I shoot. Yep. I just don't do anything it can't play the music. Hey, we beat all the all the asteroids. And keep going and do that over and over and over again. Okay. Alright, turn cool. to the other side. I love the look of the ship. Sometimes it's like, oh oh, this is messed up sprite. At some points here. It's like it's kind of a triangle, but then they're like, uh, when you're facing this way, it's you can't make that shape. Yeah. So that's, that's asteroids. 
That's not right. It's Astro Blast. Yeah. There's another M network. I played a crap ton of this game. Oh, okay. I've s okay, I've seen this. This is another one of those games you can't really lose. Yeah, it's kind of hard to. I think Jeff Christman was playing this on Game Room and literally played it for like 30 minutes because it just would never end. Until he... <laughs> okay, this, this is way too much definition in this stick. The sensitivity is way too high. Yeah, uh, score of uh, zero. Yeah, you lose points. Oh, you lose points whenever it hits the ground. So as long as you hit enough stuff in the air, you can kind of let stuff go down. It's not really too big of a deal. Also, when I can't uh, actually <laughs> get under anything. I can't, I can't aim effectively. That's, that's, yeah. Atari Video Cube, whatever this is. I have no idea what this thing is. Is this a uh, Rubik's Cube? Uh, I think it is. No, it's just changing colors. Oh, that's... People paid money for that. Maybe. Though the box art says 2600, so this must be elite. Though games <laughs> yeah. came out on this the, the VCS into the late 80s, I think at least. Yeah, so this is a high def box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some early 90s stuff too. Uh, yeah, this is a high def box compared to some of these others. Where, okay, well, you can see the 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 crinkling on the the box here yeah. when they scanned it. They did not get uh, mint in box. <laughs> nope, yeah, they didn't spend the big bucks on eBay. <laughs> All right, backgammon. Who knows how to play backgammon? Not me. Yeah. All right, that's that's enough of that. I don't know how to play it, so. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, basic math. We can do this. Mm. Can we? Nine plus yeah. nine. What plus nine? Plus four. Uh, that's eight. Yay! Uh, four plus four. That's eight. Four plus seven is four eleven. Seven. That's eleven. Wait. Okay, we can do math. Yay! Pay money to do basic math <laughs> <laughs> instead of writing it out. All right, basketball. This should sure be a great game. Oh, you don't? Reset. One player. Uh, no. Well, whatever. Oh, God. Yeah, Who? Um, I, I'm not entirely sure what the hell's going on here. Hey, we scored. All right, that's good enough. That is... Compare that to that basketball game, the arcade one. It's like, that actually looked pretty good. Yeah. Uh, blackjack. 13, okay. You know how to play Jack. Blackjack. Ace. Ooh. We won, I think. Like our number one up. Okay, you got three. Okay, king, queen. All right, three, 13. Uh, double, sure. Hey, we lost. All right. This is a bad version of that. Bowling. Also, note the arts work on these games. Is yeah, there amazing. was there one person that just did all this? Do we know who that person is? I, I don't know. That's because uh, there's a lot of great artwork. Oh, bowling! This uh, this sure is a thing. You can give it some English, I think. Mm. There we go. We got uh, six of those. Bing, bing. All right, we got nine of that. All right. Let's see. Let's go here. So we can figure out the... Oh, we got that side. Okay. We can get the rest here. Hey, almost. Okay. Definitely That's pulling. Nope. Brain games. Screw you, brain training. All right, what... Wait, go? Wait. Uh. uh I guess I'm too dumb to figure this out. Oh, this is. Okay. That was uh, Simon Says. Oh. I don't know how to control it. Yes, he touch me, count me, picture me, what, find me, add me, play me. Oh, that's 
Okay. Breakout. Alright, breakout. We know how this works. Hey, this controls... This is breakout. Nope, oh, I missed. Oh, I missed that. There we go. I, should, I have a touchpad. I should, this is probably better. Oh, too much. Ooh. Oh, all right. This version didn't have uh, uh, didn't have spin on the ball. Yeah, here's Canyon Bomber. We played a version of this before. Uh -huh. This is uh, a In bit different. It's sort of similar. We just get completely different vehicles every once in a while. Still does the same thing. These are... Uh... I do like the notion of things settling down. Uh, the way the, the blocks fall. Mm. We're winning, I think. No, we're not. We're the yellow. Okay. So that was a game. Casino, okay. So you bought one game that was just blackjack or poker or whatever. Casino. This yeah, one has yeah. all of it. Poker solitaire. I don't know what that is. Whoa. This is all this is all moving across the screen. Okay, six. Ace. Okay. What what is this? This is a fever dream here. Uh, that, this makes no sense, okay. What are we doing here? That's, that makes no uh, sense. No Alright, Centipede, alright. This is a game we know. Oh, jeez, look at this. That's, what still plays? Different looking than the arcade version. Is there anal beads that are coming down? Uh, don't look that up if you don't know what that is. Nope. We just broke them up. And this is, uh... At least this plays pretty well. You can move around mm -hmm. and all that. Like, it's got that going for it. Yeah, right. They did what they could with the hardware they had. Yep. All right, that's enough of that. Uh, championship soccer. All right, 54 video games in it, which that's got to be a hell of a marketing to list how many different like mode things you can go through as mm -hmm. games. Yeah, they, they did that. All right, yeah, this is uh, you're moving all three of your players at once. At once, yes. Because uh, that makes sense. All that, and they probably couldn't do <laughs> separate moving characters. All right, we're advancing. No, we, we kick you in the ankles. Oh no! So this is more like foosball than um, like actual soccer. Yeah, that's enough of that. Circus Atari. This yeah. is actually not a bad game. Oh, it's like Breakout, but. You have to screw around here at the bottom to be able to do anything. Oh, Cause you want them to land on the other side of the paddle there. There we go. And you got to keep it going. So it's like, hey, you think breakout's easy? This uh, this is a thousand times harder. <laughs> oh, there must be a way to flip it around. Oh, it just kicked me out. Okay, code breaker. Um, okay. That's. Oh, am I guessing numbers now? I guess so. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh, we're just we're done oh. with this game. And we're exploded. Yeah. Alright, combats. Yeah. 
Sure. But this is a two-player game, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> all right, let's... Uh... The shot can't go across the screen. I can give it some English, too. Yep. All right, that's, that's the thing. And there's Combat 2, which this didn't originally come out. Isn't this one of those games that never came out? Um, People found a prototype or something like that. I think so. Oh, I, okay. I'm up here. These are clouds or something? Mm -hmm. Things I'm going under? I don't know. Oh, it's like Warlords. Hey, That was a pretty good blow-up animation. Crystal Castles. Alright, this is going to look great. Yeah, this one looks... Up oh! Up. Uh, how do I... Where's the secrets? I don't know if the secrets are the same. <laughs> no. This is a bad port. These are mostly all bad ports. Because this hardware was not capable of doing anything close to what it's a cart, uh, Atari okay. arcade games could do, as evidenced by the fact they look all look substantially different. Yeah. Also, these weird heads—it's creepy. Uh, that one doesn't quite work so well. Dark cavern. Remember that one. I don't know what that thing. What? We got guns. All right. This looks like an Intellivision character. My guy. This is how Intellivision characters like animated. Mm. Oh, it's not Pac-Man. You can't go through the side. We got him, but we also got we got God. Got him. Come on, buddy. Oh, I don't. That's not good. Uh, Demons to Diamonds. This is a game that was made on drugs. Yes. Uh, uh, the manual, I will just read the manual here if I can get to the... Let's see. Wait, what is this? There's a story? Mm -hmm. You and your best friend are spending a Saturday at the Cosmic Carnival, of course. So far, you've done all the usual things. Now you're restlessly looking around for new thrills. Something exciting and different. It, some can spec competitive skill sport suddenly you hear a taunting voice coming from the vicinity of target skill gallery uh, that's I don't know what that is uh, the gameplay okay your objective in demons of diamonds is to score as many points as possible while losing as few lives as possible hit demons the same color as your laser base to score points demons will first appear in the middle two rows this is actually more uh, reasonable than uh, the the game room version. Uh, and the name is you shoot the demons, they turn into diamonds. Mm. Oh. Oh, jeez. I'm doing something. Yeah, I remember renting this at one point and not really getting into it. So. Mm. There no, we go. There's the diamond there. Is this thing coming to fly across the screen or something? I don't know. We did something. Desert Falcon. Oh, I remember this game. This is like a crazy game. Oh, this is a 2600 version of it. Yeah, that, um... Oh! It's like Zach's song, but not good. Oh, get the mustard bottle. Oh! Get three heroes. Okay. Sure. Dodge them. Right. Okay, yeah. this is like, hey, what's Pac-Man doing? So you got a... slot car racers, but insane. Yeah. Oh, 
We didn't dodge him. Oh, we didn't dodge him again. Yeah. That sucks, yeah. Double dunk. Alright, that's a game. Oh yeah, we got four people on here now. Innovations. Uh, how do I... Okay. Oh. It's gonna be a jam, but not really. This is... Shut up, Barkley and Jam. Mm. Or Jordan versus a bird. But the boy Barkley, versus bird. Barkley, shut up and jam. I'm not able to shoot. Okay. Our defense now. Uh, I don't. Still Basketball's games still weren't that good then. Fatal run. Here we go. Here's a racing game. Hey, it's 3D and stuff, and the car actually kind of looks like a car. Or a barn. This is what racing games were like on the TI-83 calculator. <laughs> Where you had the, the screen there. Mm. Just try to stay inside. They throw some uh, stuff at you. Mm. Alright, some meters are going down on the right side. I don't know what that means. Fuel. Force. Fuel. Standard fuel meter uh, in four colors. Yeah. Uh, oil. Alright, we got green, whatever that was. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty smooth, all things considered. Yeah. Okay, one of those must be damage. Alright, that's enough of that. It's not. So what what do the different colors mean? Of course it's black and white. Plug a controller in, drive for your life. Okay, engine, tires, armor. It doesn't explain what the other one is. Fuel? No, fuel is the the thing next to the F. Okay. What's the fourth meter? It only shows three of them. Distance? Shots? We had shots? We could shoot? Apparently. There's radar. Hold on the fire button. Wow. Okay. I gotta press the button to fire. Okay. Flag capture. Okay. It's over this way. No? Capture the flag. Six. Five. Is this like Minesweeper? Two. Hey. Okay. People paid money to play that alone. Mm -hmm. We didn't have much back then, you know. <laughs> yeah, this was... Uh, well, I didn't football. play these. Football. How does one play football? Reset. Oh, because there's two players. Yeah. I need the other person to do something. All right, we're not playing that. Frog Pond, okay. This probably didn't release. Maybe it did. Hey, I got some... Literally a game about catching flies. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is what you want to hear in the morning. Just hear this frog vibrating across this thing. All right, that's enough of that. All right, frogs and flies. Okay, I've seen this one. Yeah. This is a better version of that. <laughs> Wait, how did he jump? Okay, well. Golf. We'll see how what golf looked like. Yay. That makes no sense. The way this looks makes no sense. Okay. Like I'm hitting it the opposite direction. How? 
how did a human this is like the 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 pool game nobody that's <laughs> actually played the sport made this thing mm. i can't get i can't get over there all right gravatar yeah, that's just the thing we know version of the arcade version cool give us 100 ships oh. this will go yeah, let's go do that. I mean, we'll, we'll use every single one of them. Uh, okay, I, I can see how they could try to do Gravatar. They uh, made a dick ship. And now you're in a thingy. Oh, uh, we're dead. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Hangman! Alright, let's play Hangman. Ooh, mm. third grade. Let's go high school. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Uh, what letter? What letter do you want, Phil? Uh, let's go H. H, okay. Take us. No! What's the next one? Uh, it's R. R, okay. Hey, what could this be? What's the next one? I don't know. Let's try a vowel or an E. E, okay. Okay. Blank R E, blank, blank, blank. What's the next Great. one? Greats? Yeah. No, it's... No, that would be, yeah. Maybe greats, maybe. but... Yeah. Let's try T. Hey, pretty. Because, you know, you don't say pretty until high school. Mm. We won. That's it. Yeah, yeah that's it. We're done. <laughs> yeah, a game you can play with a piece of paper. <laughs> you can spend... <laughs> Whatever, 30, 40 bucks on this? Yeah, like 30 bucks for a cartridge pack. But... Haunted House. This is a game that uh, is weird. You just control these eyes. Yeah, because it's dark. You can't see. Oh, yeah. Never mind that you don't see any other part of the body even when you're going <laughs> up against uh, anything else. There's actual like, lore to this. That's the best part. When you get hit and the eyes just go flying around. And then they made a they did a reboot of this and it was on X B L A, yeah. Yeah. Holy moly. I'm sure they made a game called that. Oh. This is uh the whack a mole game. Uh huh. So you didn't have to go into the arcades. Yeah. You just hit all the buttons, <laughs> just go every direction. <laughs> we win. I mean, this is literally how I'm doing. I only got 30 points. Damn. Oh, there's a timer. It's nice that they put the, sc the, the score on the screen twice. Yeah. Top and the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I missed one. Oh, well. Oh, I'm bringing all the... Two players in group, both computing. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Home run? You yeah, can't call it baseball? It's a baseball thing. Oh! Well, it's out of here. Oh, I got it. This is the most playable baseball game I've seen. There's a double play right there. Wait, what? Oh. You hit down to swing. <laughs> yeah, he I mean, didn't have many buttons. I can just move like 30 times faster than an actual human. Yeah. Okay, now I get the bat. Baseball. Sort of. Oh. Oh. There we go. I don't want any of the numbers above me. Okay, balls and strikes. I Oh, I guess each team. Outs. Inning. Okay. Okay. That's playable, at least. Yeah. Human Cannonball. Another game where you have a, a dick here. Okay, yeah, we're trying to set an angle here. Yep. No, that's way too much. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. It's miles per hour. Well, we're about a 45 degree angle. Um, no, that's too high. Hmm. Nope. He's good. 
that's the game. Yep. A lot of these are just one note games because they didn't really know any better how to make yeah. uh, more yeah, complex yeah. things. Yeah. Ooh. Let me just take it in. That. Okay. AI is doing nothing but uh, actually play the game. Maze Craze. Oh. Okay. Oh, jeez. There's a lot of options here. Okay. We want to get through the maze as fast as possible. Oh, that's the wrong direction. That's the wrong direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Again, a game you can play on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. uh, millipede. It's like centipede. But a little mm -hmm. bit more complicated. Yeah. Uh, this version was a little bit better than the centipede that we saw before. Yeah, they had more time to to get this one to get used to the hardware and how to adapt yeah. it. All right, that's that. That's an all right version. Miniature yeah. golf. This one's got to be yeah. better than regular golf. Uh oh, I was looking at the other thing. So you got to pull as far back, which. When you're right up against the wall, it's not great. This is slightly better than golf. Yeah. All right. Okay, cool. That was cool. I All right. I would rather go and play this in person, but that's just me. Yeah, what if it's winter? Miniature golf isn't open anymore. Yeah. You could have some way playing it. Well, yeah. I've been to our miniature golf courses. Oh, almost there. Almost there. Just tap it in. There we go. Like 20 shots. <laughs> yeah. Part four. Yeah. Missile command. All right. 2600 version of that, one, which, well, well, it's not too bad. For the hardware, it's not bad. But none of these shooting from other uh, missile sites? No. You only have one button, so. Yeah. Just shoot the closest one. There we go. Alright. Mm -hmm. uh, Moto Rodeo. Time base, score base, score base. Whoa, you can do flips on this. This is trials. Yeah, this is trials before trials. Oh, that's it's not good. Yeah. Night driver. Did you like that oh. driving game we did? Let's yeah. do it in the dark. Oh. Yeah, it's literally doing it in the dark. This is what the TI-83 version of this kind of game would be. Oh. We hit the light yeah. post. The road that just has light posts on on it. Yeah. This. No. And then we had a seizure. Off the wall. Oh, is this breakout? No? What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. Okay, it is breakout. Okay. That's breakout with the little worm thing. Alright. Also with a kabuki guy on here that they just redrew. For some reason. Yeah. Blazing brick bats and black birds. Okay. Outlaw. Alright. Two player, one player. Okay. Hmm. Like hey, I got that. Gun duel thing. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. Pong sports. Hey, we figured out how to make pong into other sports. Yeah. That's how do I control? One player. Speed up, whammy. Large, small.
Okay, I see. It's left and right on the, the stick. The way every game controls is completely different from the differently from the others. <laughs> when it's four directions on a stick and a button, is yeah. amazing. They're not playing this. Quad run. This is done. It's fun times four. Okay, goons ten. Okay. What? Okay. Okay. I see. We're doing something. I don't. So not sure what. Okay, we lost. Yeah, I don't know what the hell just happened there. Um... Something happened. All right, race. Telegames race. Ooh, telegames. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is not exploding. Oh, it's, it's a sprint, I think. Sprint. Kinda. I just love the way that when you turn it, it the the model looks very different. <laughs> yeah. You can only display these things one way. So we have to fudge it when we turn. But yeah, they used to have uh, like magazine competitions where you take a picture of your screen, send your score in, you might get uh, a medal if you're one of the top ones. Yeah. Especially for like Activision stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, Activision did that, Atari did that for some stuff. And, you know, and Radar lock. Yeah. There we go. This one just auto does it. Oh, oh, oh there we go. I like the look of this. I know some of the the, the Activision games got released in collections uh, on and off, but have they done their own collection? Yeah, I think uh, lately. Well, not lately, but I think there's one on Steam. Yeah. I know they put some of their stuff on Game Run or Game Room, yeah. but yeah, that would be nice because they had a very nice style to them on the Atari 2600. Yeah. Uh, they also put their name on it to make sure you know who made it. Yeah. All right, another baseball game here. Oh, the real sports series. Hey, they figured out how to put more people on the on the screen. How control? How do I control? I swung. I think. What was the swing button? There it is. And how does the other person throw? This is one player. <laughs> oh, player one start. Okay. At bat. Again, watching everybody run out here. Oh, strike. Okay. These games are more ambitious than they could actually do whatever they're. Yeah. Oh. Maybe see if it's football, the real sports football one. <laughs> Basketball. All right. Eight minute quarters. What kind of oh, mad my. people would be. Hey, we got. Four people here. It's not the the half court thing. Yep. Uh, okay, how do we move? All right, we're just dancing across the screen. Yeah. Well, I guess it's slightly better than the other basketball game we looked at. Yeah. <laughs> Again, people paid sure. money for these. Yeah. Ooh, these got actual people. Macho Man, Lefty O'Leary, Iron Fist. Let's go with Macho Man. You gotta like, crowd a little bit. Yeah. yeah so it's kind of a boxing game. Um, sort of. Yeah. I don't know what, what that meter is. Alright, I'm calling it. Football, alright. 
Plus, this is amazing. I hit him in the back of the head. Game over. <laughs> oh. Oh, we got tackled again. All right, that was okay. This. That's, that's... All right. Don't and barely have to bad. play. Don't have to play really. Third and fourteen. That's sack. There we go. All the sacks, none of the fun. What? Okay. I can't even throw that guy. Okay. Whew. Threw it all the way down the field. Okay, that's that's sure is a thing. Yeah, no, that's not a, that's not a great football game, is it? <laughs> it's not easy to know like what you're doing. Yeah. Field yeah. or soccer. Uh, am I controlling? Nope. All right, good. No goalies. That's good. It's a good football game. Yeah. This is yeah. not confusing at all. Real sports, football, and football. <laughs> this one just says soccer on it. Yeah. Tennis. Tennis is simple. Yeah, this one actually wasn't half bad. Oh, I gotta put my initials in. Ek dot ka. There we go. This is pretty impressive, especially having the shadow. Mm -hmm. This one's playable. Yep. Ah, you jerk! Ah, you can't just lob it over me, so... I can just stay right here and this will be my ultimate victory. And 20 minutes later... We're still doing this. <laughs> You're still vlogging. Oh, this is not. All right, volleyball. And eternity later. Hey, we won. Oh, we didn't. Okay. That's it. That's Return to haunted house. Oh, they made this is a the sequel. sequel. Because apparently they did. I don't know what this is. This is using the uh, adventure tech as far as picking up stuff. It just holds exactly where you pick it up. Hey, it's red. Is that a thing? Okay, that turned into something else. Oh! How do I get the... Okay, that sure is a thing. Saboteur! Let's be just like the, uh, the PS3, Xbox 360 game. Mm. Ooh, this is a nice uh, start screen. Mm. A big old mess on the screen, but hey. Shoot every other screen, okay. This is at least decently fun. Shoot everything. We're sabotaging everything. Everybody must die. I don't know what this is. There's a, a penis growing on the screen. A weirdly shaped penis. As I kill. Ah, oh, it's going off. That oh, was a boss fight. Oh. What the? Okay. Well, gotta hand it to them for ambition on this one. I think I'm avoiding this bullet bouncing around. Okay, that was a bonus. Sure. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Mm, Something happened. Save Mary. Save Mary. <laughs> uh, that's not that's not long enough. Oh. Oh. Okay, pick this up. And drop it. There we go. Oh, that wasn't it. She's in a hole and she's filling it up. Oh, 
Help, yeah, we're working on it. Why can't you just swim, Mary? What's wrong with you? Just crush her. There we go. Alright, we saved her. Send her to hell where she belongs. Sea battle. Two player game. Mm. Okay. Okay, I guess it's like combat, but with submarines. Oh, I'm a dot. Mm. Okay. On this pink dot up here. Where the enemy is, I do not know. Hmm. I mean, if you did, doesn't oh, mean, there's okay. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Secret quest. What is this? That's a cool box art, though. Wait, who's the dude on the front? By some dude. He has pictures on the back too. So then I realized they could just advertise the the people. Oh, Nolan Bushnell. Okay. Video game designer and Atari pioneer. Yeah, well, he could put his name on it because, well, he owned the company. He's no one Bush now. Oh, nope, that's the manual. There we go. Players, let's see. Secret Quest, what is this? 1989. Just in case you need to know. A, B, okay. Hey, we got a sword. Hey, we got some more energy. Yeah, this is what they did with the Atari and that late gen was say, hey, this is a cool Nintendo game. Let's try to make that. <laughs> and fit it in 1K of RAM. <laughs> I ain't sure. Hey you, whatever you are. Potato man. Alright. Just getting oxygen and energy. Hey, oxygen. Because yeah, you're underground, apparently. Am I? Yeah. I guess that could be a thing. I don't know what all these things are behind. Uh, underground. Four. Hey, it's a mouth. Or something? The tongue? Some kind of item. Oh, what's... This is like a pause oh. screen. What? Oh, an inventory screen. Inventory, okay. That's weird. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a game, alright. Oh, yeah, not having uh Crap, what's the, the platformer that Activision made? Hmm. The iconic one. Uh, yeah. The second game is like an early Metroid style game. Yeah. Uh, that's a shame that's not on this collection. Mm. Wow, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I'm having to see you. I shoot the thing. Mm. Of course, the, the screen flashes every time. Yeah. So why not? Epilepsy warnings were not a thing back then. No, they didn't care about those kids. <laughs> Pokemon hadn't happened yet. Mm. Let's see. What's the manual say? Locate and absorb energy. Okay. To enhance play, the following optional game controls allow you to pause and restart the game. Okay. Scoring. Yeah, like this, these games could describe how you score. Instead of having to figure it out. Okay, that was Sentinel. We're going to play Skydiver. Yeah. Actually, there was an arcade version of it. Use your joystick controller with this game program. Yeah, they like their uh, game program name. There was nobody, nobody else that challenged it. Oh yeah, this game. Okay. I just killed that man. Okay, don't know the controls. Let's see, let's try again once more. Alright, never mind. They're all dead. <laughs> They're all dead. So Killed them all. There you go. Alright, slot machine. Alright, let's 
You thought gambling was a problem now. Yeah. I guess that's supposed to be a slot machine. Alright, I, I didn't win. Hey, we won because uh, three lines and two lines? I don't mm -hmm. Who knows? And then you just keep spinning because you can't win anything or lose anything because there's no currency. Hey, mm -hmm. I paid 30 bucks for this. For mm -hmm. fake gambling. Yeah, that's... Slot racers. All right, here's your slot racing game. Yeah, and this one was two players, so yeah. <laughs> I can shoot. I can't actually move forward. Oh, okay. I have to keep holding up. What is this thing that's waggling on the controller? On the on this car? Yeah, there we go. This is combat, but bad. <laughs> space attack, alright. Yeah, space attack. I remember this one. This is two players, but... What is even happening here? Okay, I'm going between these different things. Highlighting them. Yeah, you're one of the things, and then... Yeah. Then you go into combat at some point. We're not getting that far. Yeah, well, we have to kind of wait. All right, out. here we go. Space War. One of the original games. Yeah. They just, it's asteroids. Yeah, it's basically asteroids. Asteroids just ripped it off. Just added asteroids. I think you can hit yourself with your own shot, maybe. Mm. Might depend on the game type. Unless you have a meter for how many shots you can... Yeah. I think I ran out. Just go faster, bounce. Alright. That's Space War. Sprint Master, alright. Here we go, a real game. Alright. There we go. Yeah, you can race around the screen. Yay! Traction! I got traction now. I turned traction on. That probably wasn't even an actual feature in cars yet. I had the auto traction stuff. <laughs> were were seatbelts mandatory at this point in cars? Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. yeah, boys and girls, uh, used to be no seatbelts in cars. Yeah. And you wonder why people died so easily. So they got ejected out of the car. <laughs> Alright. I got 370 shots. Or not, it's energy. Alright, we shot some things. Starship. Generic I'm video game name. On rock and roll. That's Jefferson Starship. Ah, it's getting closer. Uh, all right. Star Strike. Ooh, this is not influenced by uh, a movie, a popular movie. Uh, no, not at all. Oh. Steeplechase. Uh, the fun of watching horses race. But with, uh, what? Pixelated graphics. Okay, we're the yellow. There we go. Nope. There we go. We did it. Look at that animation. Jumping over. Yeah. Go for it. We're all roughly staying the same. We're ahead. A little bit. Oh, I don't know how to do those bigger ones. Eventually we're reach an end. Uh, maybe. I don't know. It just goes on forever until you give up. Now there's a timer up at the top. It was going tanning up. Mm. Phaser strength. It's always strong. Oh! Starship Commander. That's not Starfleet. Okay, that's not refer referencing anything. 
Quadrant sector, okay. Uh, photon? Alright. Made noises. What's going on? <laughs> that stellar Trek. Not, not trying to sound like Star Trek, any in there? Stellar Trek, yeah. Street Racer. Alright, look at this. Oh, I'm the orange car on the right. You're just racing against an AI that's not moving. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Stunt cycle. All right. Yeah, this is kind of like trials too, I think. Hey. Well, trials is kind of like this. Only not. Only this is way better. Oh. Submarine commander, all right. Control the submarine. This is still, this is kind of cool UI. Mm. Might actually play well, but still. Shoot these, shoot these boats, shoot a boat. There we go. Yeah, there we go, we shot, shot one down. Super baseball, this is where they figure out you can put super in front of things. Yeah. All right, first to bat. Hey, let's wait forever for this. So hey, we can put nine people on them, on here. Oh, gotta watch them walk all the way up. Yeah. Out. Oh, I'll give up on that. Super breakout. All right, super time. Mm -mm. One point. Two points. Yeah. It's like what it's like to play old pinball games. <laughs> where you get like 50 points. Not a million up free up hits. There. There's one up there. It's more... So far, I haven't let it get past me. Yeah. So now it's going off at a weird angle. And it's okay. Hard to get any shots going. Not too bad. Super challenge baseball. Is this the whole line? Okay. So we got super football. Another baseball game. This is like the fourth one we've played on. Yeah, we got a lot of baseball games. I got the G yeah. guy here. Yeah. How do you play? You no playing? idea. No. All right, never mind. That's a game that exists. Yes, you could try to play. Your Atari Asterisk video console system. Super Challenge Football, two player. And, uh, yeah, that's. They usually say that because uh, there were actually compatible consoles back then. All right. Um, like the Coleco Gemini was a clone of the 2600, and there was uh, the Sears. Uh, thing, which was basically a 2600 with a different base plate. Okay. Yeah. This is pretty good artwork on this uh, box. Also, fast paced 3D action. This is a 3D football game. 3D football game? Oh, wow. Oh. It's gotta be. Um, that's not quite 3D. Alright, let's see how this works. Well, we kicked it off. That's the first one that did that. You got the you know, radar map at the top, which is new. Uh, okay, I'm doing something. Oh! Technologically, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, for playability. Not so much. <laughs> Uh, 
Ooh, interception. All right. Surround. Whatever that means. Oh. This is Snake. That's easy enough. So, one thing I'm noticing is the the way that they... Okay, we can just cross over. Okay, never mind. Uh, you start off on the right side more often than the left. Ooh. This is definitely not referencing any anything. This oh. box art. It's not... Those are not sabers made of uh, lasers. No, there's not. Oh! Alright, we got... My guy's ready to go. There's a knot. Yeah, because it's too late. Sword quest. No, oh, they actually put those on there. These games are insane. It's like an adventure game. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's a heck of a door animation. Yeah, I do like that transition. Cool. Once you get to you know, get to get items and uh... ah, all right, we got nothing. And little mini games that show up at some point. Though they do have uh, a contest here: play one hundred fifty thousand dollars sword quest challenge. Yeah. If you can actually figure out how to play the game, you get $150,000. <laughs> and uh, an actual sword. Um, oh, yeah. Sword Quest Earth World, uh, Fire World, uh, Water World. Uh, this is before the movie. On Air World, but that never came out. Because uh, people couldn't figure out how to play it. <laughs> well, no, because Atari went there by then. Whoa, that's really bright. They figured out how to put two things in a room. So it looks like a VHS tape. Hmm. Before those were the were a thing. Maybe they were by the time th these came out. Oh, they still were. Yeah. Waterworld. Okay. This looks different. Waterworld has oh. no relation to the Kevin Costner movie. Not yet. Oh, get off of me! No. Squid, no! No! <laughs> oh, it's a sword. What? What are these? What? None, none of this makes any sense. Hey! I don't know. I picked up the right thing. Okay. All right, that's sure. Tempest, all right. A game we know how to play. Yeah, oh, my God. A lot different. <laughs> you, know, you have a pair of underwear on screen. Uh, this is like that Dragon Ball game on the NES. Or it changed into Bulma's Sandwich. Sure. I did something. That's not Tempest. <laughs> Alright, checkers. Alright, instead of playing checkers on a, uh, a oh, board. Alright. Well, well, no. Nope. I need to make a competent looking version of checkers. Okay, there we go. So, there we go. How do you move? Okay. Oh, you select the square and the X. No. Yeah. No. There's X. No. No. All right. Set a board. Let's reset. One player, regular. Computer looks ahead. Set a board. No. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yep, one to black. So they can figure out what they're doing. Uh, no, I don't want that one. This is very hard to control. <laughs> it shouldn't be, but it is. Video chess. All right, let's move up to the the better game. Yeah. Okay, that's. Oh. That is a transition. Oh, 
Not only does it go black, it also makes... <laughs> they found where the colors were. All right, let's play pinball. We like pinball. Oh, this is a totally pinball. normal pinball table. I remember this. Uh, there we go. This is also one of those games that's very hard to lose. Yeah. Because there's only one out. Mm. Well, there's technically, uh, technically one on the left side, but yeah, good luck getting your ball over there. Oh. Sure, that's how a pinball works. Oh. I might hit it one of these days. Physics? Yeah. I guess physics. Oh, it's going faster. Sure. Oh, we hit the thing. Make colors. Oh, we lost. Okay. This is one of those games where I could have put it on the, the, the triggers. They could have. They said no. We'll do the wrong thing this time. Of course, they put the Atari logo here. Mm -hmm. Make sure you know who made this. Some poor schmuck who didn't get paid enough. Almost got up there. Cool. Oh, I can't do that. All right, Warlords. We got four more Warlords, games. Version of Warlords, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I do not know what I'm controlling. Okay, I'm yellow. It's a lot different looking. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why Blue attacked himself. Why they're attacking themselves? What? I guess that's the thing you can do. Just attack yourself. Yeah, they're literally attacking themselves. Sure, save me some time. Of course, um, the flashing screen is great, too. Yeah. It's, um, and the amazing 2600 audio is, is awesome. We need somebody to die before we go. Might be me. Of course, because this green guy has like three blocks left and he can't die. <laughs> He's going to be really precise to get him. You got the little tiny uh, icon there. Oh, purple. One of you. Oh, I, of course I'm the one that dies. Okay. The other ones have nothing. Wizard. All right. A game called Wizard. I like the option for color, black and white. Color. Let's get this thing. This sure is an animation for a walk. Yeah. Where he's side saddling all over the place. I don't. I don't know what's going on. Nope. Bad Pac-Man. Yeah. Alright, we'll go Yars Revenge go. first. We'll go in the right direction. This game is one of the more complicated of them all. Yeah. So we're trying to that. attack this and open this up yeah, and so set up... Get hit by that thing. Yeah. And we're setting up this. A shot to hit it. There we go! Sorry, uh, uh, epileptic people. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And then, uh, That's where they figured out how to do all the colors at once. Yeah. And then I have to do the same thing again, but this time the... That one moves. I mean, I mean, yeah, you're, 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 you're. Which I, I think the the thing I like about jo uh, Giant Bomb's video for this game on the game room is you can set up challenges, and so they just go stupid deep into Yara's Revenge and say, here, do what you can. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> All right, I got most of this cleared out. Okay, well, sure, that's a, that's the thing. Yeah. And we'll go to Yars Return because they had to make a sequel. Yep. So anything that was remotely uh, successful, okay. 
Yeah. They so, had to... The sequel came out like 20 years later. Oh, this is one of those that never came out? Yeah. Okay. And yeah, they could explain that somewhere. Uh, but no. I... Okay, I'm not entirely sure about that. You just bump here. up against it and you tear it down. It has two things now that follow after you. We've returned with no knowledge of how to actually do anything. And they made a remake of Yara's Re Revenge. Uh, same thing like during the 360 gen. Yeah. Like I have a copy of it on Steam. Because it eventually got pulled for some reason. Hmm. Okay. Barely know what else to do there. Okay, that's... That's the Atari 2600. Okay, well, there's Let's only the a few 5200 in there. So okay. Might as well go this one. Of course, if you want to be uh, normal, you can just go over here and just say, give me a list of everything. Yeah. But, but We're not going to do that. We can't see the box art that way, I don't think. No. All right. How does it 5200 boxes look like? Yeah, very similar. They're just plain. They're just like, hey, we got the... Here's the arts. They're, they're supposed to be... Uh, more you stuff? Know, screenshots and stuff in the back. Okay. Okay, Centipede has it. Might depend on the box if they had it. Mm -hmm. Or they just have the front and like, okay, we don't have anything else in the back. Ten skill levels. They figured out you can't just call it ten games. That That's not probably not a good idea. No. Micro Gammon. What? Yeah, backgammon. Small. Micro. Oh, look at this. Options. Okay, let's start. 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 Game select. Start. Oh, I'm hitting X, uh, PlayStation X button. So what was the 5200? It was uh, basically the consoleized version of the Atari 800 microcomputer. Yeah, this was a weird era where not only were there consoles uh, and arcade machines, there were microcomputers that were kind of like consoles but could do more. Yeah. And piracy pretty easily for a lot of them. Mm. Microsoft did one for Japan called the MSX. Yeah. Which is a weird thing to think about. Uh, and the awesome thing about the 5200 was the controller, which was um, a piece of shit. <laughs> oh, was it that? The yeah, well, it had the that thing on the side there? Yeah. Yeah. Or had the stick there. and like the little keypad? Yeah, and the stick didn't self-center, so that that was great. Oh, that's that's smart. Because yeah. the keypad is what the Intellivision thing. Yeah, the Intellivision. Had where they had the little the overlays, which yeah. makes yeah. them very fun to play in game room. Because yeah. you had to this little side thing to play with. No, they don't... No. Nope. No keypads on games anymore. Centipede, how how does I play this? Okay. This is better than yeah, games. this it's not all blocks. Yeah. It's more recognizable as this. Sounds better. Hmm. Yeah. They had more than one channel of audio. Mm-hmm. So you could do things, multiple things at once. Yeah, the 5200, did they ever explain why it's the 5200? Because it's uh, twice as much as the 2600. Yeah, but they didn't really give the 2600 that name until late. No, 2600 had that name since uh, like the early 80s. Okay, uh, that's still a few was, years in. It was a VCS from 1977 to 1979 and got renamed in 2600 after that. To make it new, feel new again, or something? Yeah. Just marketing thing? Yeah, just marketing. It's like, yeah. hey, it's the 2600 now. Yeah. Countermeasure. That sure looks like a, a game. Hmm. Hey, they put the name on there, on here. Right. 1982, Atari. And from what I remember of this, the 5200 does not, did not do well. <laughs> nope. <laughs> People were like, 2600 is good enough. Mm. All of our bad games were well, like that. The 200 was expensive, plus uh, it was pretty limited release. Um, 
Yeah. Wait, how do I? Hey, look, it lists the controls. Yeah, it does. What does L, E, and O mean? What are those no, buttons? Know. Leo. <laughs> Leo. It's like a tower defense? No idea. That is not real time clock there. I can tell you that. Mm. Uh, auto tank. Stop tank. Okay, I don't I don't know what's happening in this game. Nope. Uh, I'm at a loss. Final Legacy. This is uh, the prequel to Final Fantasy. Well, this was 84, so... Yeah. Navigation, sea to air. Okay, this... Okay, I can see where this came from the PC. It's like early PC. Okay, yeah. let's make something super complicated. Torpedo. Alright. Alright, that didn't do anything. I'm looking at the bow of your boat. That's kind of cool. Yeah. That sure is a game. Yeah, that's something, right? Alright, micro game, man. Let's go. Though I do like the... The rainbow Atari logo. Yeah. 83. Okay, it's back in. You don't know. I'll tell you this. Never mind. Uh, okay. Putting out all these chips. Sure. No idea what's going on. Yeah. I've got a couple back end words over here. I can't do anything uh, here? Okay. I had to use the options button for that, or the share button. Millipede, alright. A game we know. 84. So the NES would launch the, the following year. Yep. Hey, title screen. Look at that. Yeah. And another one. Because one of them is not enough. There we go. Because I kept hitting start. Oh. Uh, then press fire. No? What's what's fire? No? What? How do I start? Okay, there we go. I got lost there for a second. This is really slow. Yeah, this version of Millipede wasn't very good. Oh yeah, Jeff Gersman was playing that weird uh, version of Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers. Oh yeah, that was on, impossible. Yeah, he got to World 8-1. That is a very bad game. <laughs> All blind jumps. Yeah. Which is not a good... So, for those that don't know, like, Super Mario Brothers was one of the most advanced games in the world at that point. Because mm. it could scroll smoothly. Yeah. PCs could not do that for several years after that. Yeah. Uh, that was one of... Uh, was that one of John Carmack's goals? To figure out how to do that? Yeah, he did figure it out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's where they made their platformer. Yeah. Um, he was gonna. They were. They wanted to do Super Mario Three for the PC, but uh, Nintendo said. Nah. At that point, Nintendo's like, "We don't need ports anymore. We're Nintendo. Yeah, we're not we struggling to do things." Mm. Okay, how do I, how do I play? I don't know. Okay, there we go. That's a nice way of drawing stuff in. I might mm. not know how to play it, but. Mm. Oh. Okay. How do I aim? That's... Oh, okay. Oh, man. Uh, eight. There we go. You just picked number for the strength. <laughs> That's uh, okay. It's bouncing all the way back around. Cool. This is at least more intelligible than the other mini golf games. Yeah. Uh, let's go eight. Oh, maybe? No? Okay. Didn't quite get it in, but... Let's go three. Nope. Four. Nope. Slowly. Oh. Oh, there we go. Look, it's like a scorecard there on the right. This is like advanced. 
Yeah. It's like another generation. Missile Command, all right. Starts, there we go. Still just the one place to shoot from, I think. Yeah. And also this plane is trying to screw us over. They're working for the enemies. I don't know why that plane is there. But... To be annoying. Oh, you can go down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. That's Missile Command. Real Sports, oh. Okay. We got the well. He was shooting at us. Mm. Baseball. Eighty-three visiting team intermediate. This is like menus. Hey. Yeah, it's starting to resemble a field now. <laughs> Just bunt. <laughs> okay, I see. We got different pitches here. Like curve medium. Yeah, you gotta swing, you can't just Hey voice. That's a cool thing. Yeah. That's pretty advanced. Time. Yeah, I forget what the, the first the first uh, arcade game with voice is. Mm. I think it was uh, it was either Gorf or Berserk. I think it was Gorf. Maybe. Mm. I know they had it on uh, Game Room. Mm. That's enough of that. Yeah, they said, hey, in television's cool. People love hitting buttons uh, to do things. Mm. What is this? Two o'clock, three o'clock? What? Oh, the position, the clock position of the keypad. Oh no. This is, um, well, I guess it's best. Okay. This guy's having a fit. Yeah. Oh, I can jump. Yay! Well, I love how loud the crowd is, like, um, evenly split between uh, home and away fans. Yeah. Hmm. Whee! <laughs> I just made that from the other court. <laughs> this is better than uh, that basketball game, the Kunio Kun basketball game. Yeah. I can actually make shots here. Hey! Also, the jump is like, hey, I can jump. Hey! Could be worse. What? I scored. Why? We're just making uh, other side of the court shots. Sure. Yeah, I don't think that's how basketball works, but okay. Also, these. This is when there was only two point shots in basketball. Mm. Took a while, I think, until the late 80s. To get three pointers? Yeah. yeah. Alright, football. Let's see what football looks like. Let's... Press start. Select options. Oh, okay. Regulation. Short game. No? There we go. No? Okay. Um, Can't start anything. Okay, well, that was nice. That was nice while it lasted. Start was probably like five on the keypad, which probably is not to anything. All right. So cool. Two player, five minutes per half. We're not doing five minutes, but all right. Oh, well, looks passable. Hmm, like a soccer game. Uh, select option. This is the world's best soccer match. Hmm. Nothing. All right. All right. So much for that. Okay, that was a soccer game, all right. Tennis, 1982. Here we go. Oh no. Oh, ace. Alright. Yeah, looks like a tennis game, alright. 
Yeah, with our uh, toilet brushes. Mm -hmm. That's what they used to use in the 80s. Uh, not many people know that. They did not invent te uh, tennis rackets until 1993. Yeah. Also, this game was judged by uh, the spirit of uh, Walter Cronkite, because uh, there's no umpire here. Yeah, not his uh, future ghost came back to the past to judge tennis games. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lob. Oh, I got it. Next point wins this game. And three hours later. I am recording, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we've been streaming for a couple hours now, otherwise I wouldn't be watching this. Well, streaming is one thing. Yeah. I have to get the dumb archive. Oh. Oh, well, I lost. Oh, well. Kind of Star yeah. Raiders. Yeah. One of the most complicated games on the uh, Was this one of those games where they wanted to make it like a multimedia property? Kind of, yeah. They wanted to have like comics and stuff like that? Yeah. And it didn't do well. Mm. So that's all that went was a couple of games. Mm. Super Breakout. On the 5200. This actually yeah. looks pretty good. Yeah, well, it's closer to the arcade, yeah. Maybe you can figure out how I actually start the game. game. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I like the animation for breaking the block. It, like, just opens up. Mm. That's pretty good animation. Nope. So what was this competing with, 5200? Uh, it was... Kind of its own thing. I mean, there was the ColecoVision, uh, which I guess it was in the same league as it. I love what the ColecoVision, what that name stood for. Mm. Connecticut Leather Company. Yeah. They were a shoe company that said, hey, let's make a video game console. Yeah, and then they, for some reason... That's when, like, any company could make electronics yeah. for games. And they decided, you know, maybe we'll try toys and we'll make this thing called Cabbage Patch Kids. Uh, that, that worked out pretty well for me. Yeah. I wonder who owns the ColecoVision stuff now. Yeah, nobody. <laughs> nobody? There was that whole Coleco chameleon fiasco. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to put the the story about Jay Allard is heading up the Intellivision team. Really? He's making it new Intellivision. Yeah. yeah. And the press picture they use for him is him in like a beard, has, like his quarantine beard with a a hat with the logo for his bike company. <laughs> of course. What was it? Santa Cruz Bikes, Bicycles. Mm. It's like the most, like, yeah, we didn't have official pictures for this. Yeah. But yeah, it's, he's leading their, like, their director now. Hmm. Him and Tommy Tallarico. Yeah. So, you know, it might actually come out, which is something I... I, what? I what is this? This makes no sense. Skip the music. What? It, uh, is this breakout? Bad breakout? Uh, Multiplayer yeah, pong? I don't... I don't know what's going on. I got um, ten points. What? I, yeah, I'm sure maybe with the manual you might actually figure out what the fuck What does the manual say? <laughs> I have to say about this. Zari Arena. An unreleased prototype for which no manual existed. <laughs> These instructions have been created for this compilation assist in getting started. Okay. They created a guide. A game fact guide. You must protect your energy cells with your magic shield from the Zaris, who will bombard you from the center of the arena with the projectile attacks. For 32 waves? Wow. We're not doing any of that. Uh, no. All right, so yeah, there's like five good Atari 2600 games in this collection. Yeah. Activision has a better record for better games. Yep. Pitfall still plays well. Pitfall 2 probably plays pretty well. Mm. Uh, they have a bunch of stuff there that's... 
and it has a unique style to it from any of that stuff. Like if you look at those games and you think they're super plain, yeah. Activision games have really nice style to them. Yeah. They use a lot of like rainbow stuff for that, uh, for their style, which was really impressive for when you had games that are literally just, you know, I need to find a game here, like, with some art on it there, like, when it's like three colors. Yeah. When you had something with like rainbow, like that, that's kind of what their like skies would look like. Yeah. Just more, uh, more than three colors. Two colors that are gradient between them uh that kind of thing i still can't believe this is a game save mary is that one of those lost things oh my god this is a this is a notepad doc <laughs> save mary is an atari pro okay it is a prototype game okay that's maybe why some of these games seem like there's nothing to them yeah yeah this is a prototype too prototype by atari never released to the public they should call that out ahead of time I guess maybe the super plain box art. Oh, there should be a clue, yeah. Or it looks like they scanned a damaged box. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But it should just say prototype somewhere on this. So, you know, mm. like, hey, this isn't a real game. Oh, this is a fan-made sequel? Oh, my God. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> like, this is cool just for this stuff, finding out, like, more about these games. Yeah. Uh, through the manuals... When you find the games, they're like, this This game makes no sense. It's just because it, it wasn't actually a game. Hmm. And Atari Original. This is probably after they lost their suits yep. uh, that created Activision. They're like, hey, this is an Atari Original. So we can't tell other people not to make games for our system. But yeah, so for what you think of Activision now, uh, they created the precedent for there being third parties. Mm. And all oh, this, this shows you all the games, all the charts for what's in everything. So good luck figuring that out. <laughs> yeah, there's no, uh, no, I thought there were 7,800 games in here, but I guess not. Doesn't look like it, unless it's one of the things on the list here. Credits. Code Mystics, okay. Chuck Chow. It's a pretty good name. Mm -hmm. Kevin Pickle. Mm -hmm. Never got picked up, picked on for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. A handful of people made this. Okay. They didn't even show the 5200 stuff. Okay, there it is. Right there. Yeah, so there's 2600, 5600, and, and, the, and the arcade. And the arcade's the better stuff. Yeah. Because those are... Classics, these are the original versions versus the ports that you got. Yep. On the others, and I do like, let's see, where's Asteroids? There it is. This is like what they show for this stuff, where it's like, oh, here's like the the cabinet manual yes. kind of thing. Cell sheet. And, uh... So like, here's like operator stuff. You can do yeah. free play, one coin, one coin per two uh, plays, that kind of stuff. Mm. Uh, there's like the picture of the the cabinets, a little pin you get. Here's the cabaret cabinet, specifically designed to help expand location opportunities and player potential. Temporary styling, compact size, and profits proven play, because mm -hmm. this is intended for operators, not the yeah. public. That's a weird looking cabinet. It's like in the that's been like the mid to late '80s for like. We gotta make arcade games cool again <laughs> by making yeah. the cabinet look stupid. Uh, what does it say down here? It's like 1990 or something. There's the cocktail cabinets. But yeah, this is intended for you to put your food and drinks on. Yeah, uh, it doesn't go wrong. <laughs> well, it does mention three 16th inch tempered glass tabletop insulated mm. against spills. Yeah. Which, they have, like, glass over the buttons, too, so they thought of it. Yeah. Uh, what else is here that could be cool for this? Superbug doesn't have anything. Breakout. Super Breakout. And yeah, the envisions this being, like, a criminal breaking through a wall. 
Which is not what I assume anybody else thought of. Nope. Hey, Sprint. This is cool art for a game. It's hard to play. Yeah. It's like 12 games in one. Uh, space Duel, Skydiver, Pong. Oh, Pong. Look at that. That's what the original cabinet looked like. Yep. They had no idea what a good cabinet looked like. Yeah, just a TV screen inside there. And... There's Pong doubles for four player action. Yeah. So you could play two on two. Yeah. Quadra Pong. Earned twice as much money. Look at these people. This is what the <laughs> 70s looked like. <laughs> There's the man with the big hair and the mustache. There's the guy with the, uh, the, the, the sideburns that flared out. There's a woman with the weird uh, skirt there. And there's the super excited guy. It's like, I won. Oh, what's... See, they should have had Quadrapong in this, like all these other variants. Mm. Oh, here's the, the Tiger Electronics version of Pong. They just scanned the box. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger's like bringing back those... those Some of them, yeah. For some reason. Because our, our people our age are old enough to buy that stuff again. Yeah, but people our age remember that they sucked that then back then so yeah but it's nostalgia Ooh, yeah. this is a cool missile mi command cabinet yeah you had I to go sit see, in you don't see very many of those around anymore i would imagine they got thrown out as soon as possible when arcades stopped being profitable because <laughs> that took up a ton of space mm -hmm. yeah there's the the different styles for missile command cabaret and uh sit down yeah Cabarets, you'll still see quite a few of um, here and there. Because I imagine nobody wanted those, so they're probably in pretty good condition mm. compared to other versions that uh, get used a lot more. Mm. Cabarets, I typically saw those at like laundry mats and stuff like that. Because okay, I don't know why? But it seems to make makes sense over there. <laughs> they have a little limited, more limited space. Yeah, and they're not assuming. Yeah, a lot easier to kind of sneak them in there. Maze, no. Jeez, not enough on this stuff. Major Havoc. Let's see what's on this. Oh. There's like half a pay, half a book. Operator's Manual with parts list, which doesn't tell you anything really. No, no. Secret Warp Code. Warps player for short game times as it advances him to levels deep into gameplay. Roller controller is used to dial in secret code numbers during the tactical scanner wave. Add a coin feature. Okay. Lunar lander. Atari Force Liberator. Look at this high detail drawing of this man with uh, his uh, stick there. <laughs> yeah. there oh yeah, look at this. Look at this team. That's not He-Man there in the middle. No, not at all. Here's Sorry. half of these things. Oh, this is the higher res version of it. Okay. Incredibly realistic interplanetary search, destroy, and rescue mission. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Here's two cabinets. This is not the same one that they've... Oh, it's not the same one. Okay. I was going to say they'd be smart of them to just have the one and just flip it. Yeah. Find a way to flip it and make it right. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Something exploded. That's all. That's great. Well, that's good. Yeah. Gravatar. This is the only. It's got pins. Okay, there's a thing. Oh yeah, this happened all the time. Women playing with a man cheering her on. <laughs> Gravatar, the player's game. As yeah, the nerd game. Mm. I'm kind of bummed that Quantum isn't on here because that's a good game. But man, I would love yeah. to have the manual for this fire truck game. Find out more yeah. about it, or this Domino's game. Crystal Castles that's though. A pretty generic cabinet, so I'm not sure that Domino's game ever came out. Bentley Bear is loose. Look at that. They built out a real like stage yeah. version of the stage here, and they put like this weird teddy bear 
drunk teddy bear on here. Mm. Yeah, it's just that same art. They just put mm. a teddy bear here and a drawn one here. Look at that. That bear is on drugs. Yeah. Most He's going after this guy here. Guy's like, oh no! He's coming after me. Crazy ass bear. Wait, the name's Bentley Bear, and I've got a tip for you. Okay, he's got a tip, all right. All right. Yeah, this, uh, a lot of good art here. New conversion kits for Missile Command, Dig Dug, Kangaroo, and Arabian. Yeah, that was a thing, too, conversion kits, so they could use the same cabinets. Uh, just change the art and all that to uh, something yeah. else when you wanted to do that. Which is probably really great for uh, collectors. I wonder if collectors ever find like buy a machine and find out it's a conversion of a different machine. Uh, yeah, I have. A like hidden under it. Yeah. What the heck? This is weird. <laughs> All right. Yeah, pin there. Another pin. New and only from Atari. And this stuff got bought up by Midway. Centipede in that. Yeah. yeah. I remember them make, remaking this stuff for the PS1. Making 3D games for all these different things. Yeah, that was, um, that was an interesting era. Um, yeah. Oh, it's Black Widow. Uh, you know, trying to give Pong a story, which was um, amazing. Yeah. I do like these marquee arts. It's. I imagine that's a big market, is just buying the, the marquees for these things. Yeah. Just having well, I mean, that. You can get those, like, uh, reproduced. So, you know, if you want to have something yeah. in your escape room, whatever, you know. Hmm. So, one thing that I noticed about uh, S Satisfactory is they have an arachnophobia mode. Mm -hmm. And apparently it makes it scarier because it puts, like, a glitched out cat image over where the spider is. <laughs> which people say is freakier than that, than the, okay. the other. Which is, uh, okay. So, uh, yeah. It's weird. So you could have spiders, or you could have incredibly glitchy cat things. You know, it's you know. just a cat, like, JPEG. Cat yeah. Asteroids Deluxe. That is a pretty cool sit-down cabinet. Mm. And here's your cabaret version of Super or Asteroids Deluxe. Mm. Here's explaining the difference of... The private revolution continues. <laughs> That is uh, how you know what the what they cared about, yeah. the arcade biz. Tell me how big it is, how much space it's going to take up, how much and, money uh, it's going to make me. Yeah. <laughs> Continues the video revolution with incredible new realism, new competitive skill challenges, new repeat playability with more new features that make this the ultimate asteroids game experience for your ultimate earnings experience. Yay, your earnings experience. Yeah. The hot one's even hotter. Where did Asteroids go? Is it still Atari? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Hasbro got it at some point. Space Invaders went to Taito. Yeah, yeah Space Invaders was always Taito. Yeah. So they never lost it. God, they uh, need a collection of those games. Especially yeah. like Infinity Gene. They're, they are doing a collection. It doesn't have Infinity Gene, which is a crime. Yes. They put the other one, the the one that's like luminous a little bit, like that yeah, musical green. stuff. Yeah. yeah. They're putting that in there, but not Infinity Gene. It's like, that's Infinity literally like the evolution of Space Invaders, like inventing the shmup. Yeah. I, got, uh, uh, I still have my very 60s, so I guess I could. Yeah, I have that, that there. Yeah. I think I might, I don't think, I don't think it's on sale on mobile anymore. Mm. It's probably it's one of those games that got lost in time. But yeah, that game's really cool. That is like, hey, uh, yeah, I don't know if I have it or not. Oh, well, we're gonna, let's see, space, most generic thing here. Invaders. Uh, no, I have Kerbal Space Program, Space Giraffe, of course. Yeah. Space mm -hmm. Base, DF9, Space Chem, uh, which that is a nerd nerd game. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's all about setting up like chemistry stuff. Yeah. It's like puzzles. That guy makes those kind of games. Yeah. 
Yeah, I have Space Plan, uh, but that's not that's an idle game. Uh, yeah, I got Space Plan, Tales from Space, Mutant Blobs Attack. And this game called Weird Worlds: Return to Infinite Space. Uh, which, of course, the the community content includes a bunch of meme gifs. Mm, of course. Because there's nothing else. The game's not that popular. Yeah. It's like Russians that are interested in this game. Oh, hey. Okay. Uh, I don't know if this is porn here. H.R. Geiger porn <laughs> on this thing. <laughs> I don't want to know. There's something. Uh, I'm not going to show it on sc screen. Mm. Uh, it's very horny. There's things attached to the nipples. Yeah, because, uh, of course. I did bit. get more uh, trading cards, so... Yeah. That's uh, that's it for the stream. Yeah. Uh, it's about three hours of playing Atari playing games Atari. with about ten good games in there. Yeah. Maybe for Lucky. Uh, what cards did I get here? I got Combat. Uh, oh, Lunar probably. Lander. Missile Command. Tempest. I thought I had one more. I thought I got... Yeah, you might have got oh. a duplicate of the second. Maybe. No, because it would show as a second card. Mm. That might be all the ones I can get. Yeah, no more drops remaining. There's also Adventure, Asteroids, Centipede, and Yars Revenge. Mm. Which I love the, the console ones, because it's just literally a picture of the Atari with the combat uh, cartridge in it. <laughs> and like the mm. the little combat tank mm. sitting in front of it. It's very low effort art mm. compared to a lot mm. of these things. Yeah, we'll have to do another um, with stream with some other collections like this. We'll find them. I have the SNK collection. Yeah. Though yeah, I don't know what it's good. missing compared to the others. Because for whatever reason, SNK decided to make platform exclusive bonus games. That's... Xbox has a special game. Switch has a special game, I think. That's dumb. <laughs> but yeah. but that collection is unique because it has multiple versions of the same game. Yeah. Uh, so you can yeah. see like what the arcade version or the Neo Geo version is or the NES version. Yeah. Of whatever it oh, is. Well, I guess well this collection has multiple versions of the same game in some instances, so I guess there's that. Yeah, but. Mm. It was like, oh, here's the good version, here's all the bad versions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see if I can find a way to... Okay, the wiki would probably have it. Ah, uh, it just tells me, okay. No, it doesn't... Well... Yeah, there's 25 on Xbox One. 25 games, 24 on the others. Uh, but what game is the exclusive one? Thank you for not telling me, wiki. <laughs> Okay. That was probably on the Microsoft Store. Let's see. Nope. Doesn't say. Good. Good job advertising your bonus. Yeah. Maybe it's in the yeah. reviews. Save me reviews. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, there's lots of... Like, Sega's putting out a new Sega Ages game. Uh, I forget what it is. Yeah, Sega really needs to, like, bundle that it up and get it off the switch so other people can play it too because no they don't like to do that games on the switch and they're stuck there because they did all those 3d versions on the 3ds yeah but and they those are still there the virtual racing and that's yeah. been only on the switch so let's see coming soon no deals release date for a reason this the release date sorting is oldest or the the furthest is up mm -hmm. top so I have to go all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Sega Ages Thunder Force AC. Oh, okay. That's the yeah arcade version of Thunder Force 3. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I guess this is a Jellico thing here. Coming. Mm -hmm. uh, Game Tengoku Cruise and Mix Special. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> it's got shmups. Mm -hmm. Anime shmups. Uh, Alrighty. that and like city connections tied to that too. Mm. Yeah, this new and upgraded game of the 1997 console version of Game Tengoku, 
Old school JLo character, JLoCo characters are voiced by an all-star voice cast. Uh, characters are designed by great manga artist Tatsuya Suma. Okay. A uh, complete version of the comical shooting game that broke new grounds in the genre. Full VO and four original themes. It's a $30 game. That sounds insane. Yes. Yeah, they got special plans from different Jellico games, I guess. Mm. That's weird. Yeah, like, a lot of ports coming to Switch over the next few weeks. Yeah. Uh, there's... Real Mist is coming to Switch. Oh, joy. Uh, what else is there? There's the... All the 2K stuff, Bioshock, XCOM, Borderlands collections. All the same day, so... Good job eating into your own profit. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else is on here? I don't know what else old games. What the golf is coming to Switch? Yeah, I might get that. It's actually leaving Epic Store soon too. Well, not leaving Epic Store, but you know, it's going to be on Steam and stuff. Though. Yeah, the Wonderful One Hundred and One is out this week. Yeah. yeah, that's finally coming out. Uh, the Persistence, which is a PSVR game, mm. a horror roguelike game. Mm. Uh, it's going to be on Switch to look worse. <laughs> yeah. That's supposed to be a cool game. asset flips on Switch, so that's... that's 27 bucks. Mm. Well, yeah, they're flipping assets all over the place. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's lots of... This is a weirdly kind of busy rest of the month, but it, not really if you don't care about these yeah. games. Saints Row the Third console comes out this week. Yeah. The The remaster for that. Which is good because it needs it. Yeah. I wonder if I'm getting a free Steam version of that. Mm, That'll be know. better. I got one for Red Faction, Varela. Yeah. So, who knows? You just upgraded mine, so, yeah. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Like, Saints Row 2 is supposed to be getting a, a, an update on uh, Steam and GOG. Yeah, at some point. Because that you know, version was terrible. <laughs> and they just found the game. Yeah. Ooh, they're adding Iberia to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Ooh. They're still expanding that game. That game yeah. came out in 2013. They're still adding new stuff to it, new areas. Yeah. Which I was looking, I had the first two, and there's like four more since then. Adding so much of Europe. Mm. Uh, American Truck Sim is getting Colorado and Idaho. That's still like 10 states. <laughs> Five times more to go. Yeah, we got another 40 to go. Can't wait to get to Montana. A super interesting state. <laughs> That's the bad part of this, expanding, expanding from the West. Yeah. It's like Washington, Oregon, and uh, California are interesting states. Yeah. And now they're going through the desert in <laughs> yeah, dead parts of the country. Uh, Here's hmm. southern Canada. Yeah. Especially as we get towards Minnesota and Wisconsin, mm. which are basically Canada, uh, just on the other side of the wall. Mm. Which I found out, yeah, so they don't have Duck Duck Goose uh, in Minnesota. No. They have Duck Duck Gray Duck. Oh, okay. Um, that's the Same thing. concept, they just don't call it a goose. Just one of those things like, oh, that's weird but whatever well Minnesotans are kind of strange so. well they get stuck in the snow they mm. go crazy they invent new games yeah. out of the old ones uh, but yeah that'll be it thank you everybody for tuning in uh, we'll be back Thursday I think that's when my next day I can stream I need to go through I just installed GIMP the other day so yeah. I just set up like an actual template so I can just put my schedule in there for when we're going to stream and then I'll be like the offline image on the channel mm. yeah, that'd be cool. instead of a super zoomed in version of the logo because <laughs> yeah. that's all I had was like tiny resolution images mm. but yeah uh, we'll be back on Friday for Let's Weekend yep. with more crap that's going on yeah expect quite a bit of crap to happen this week so yeah, good yeah. which yeah. is why 
yesterday when I woke up, I watched Back to the Future and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> so it's like, I need something that's normal. Yeah. And a movie about uh, a kid almost fucking his mom. Going yeah. back in time and almost fucking his mom. Uh, makes sense. <laughs> is uh, normal. Yeah. That's so crazy that that was like one of the most popular movies of the 80s. Yeah. It was a movie about time traveling incest. <laughs> well, it was intentionally that, but. Uh, that was part point. of the pitch. Yeah. Say, what if he goes back in time and his mom gets the hots for him and tries to fuck him? <laughs> That's uh, that was the '80s, folks. Yep. You got your movies in, however they got them. Yep. Uh, surprisingly, yeah. there's more cursing in Ferris Bueller than Back to the Future, mm. which was surprising. They say shit a lot. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'll let you go and get some sleep. All right. Uh, we'll be yeah, we'll be back on uh. Thursday and the rest of the weekend uh, when I'm done with my ridiculous work schedule for the week. Yep. And, uh, yeah. Have a good one, everybody. Hope you have a decent week. Yep. And we'll see you on Thursday. Catch you later. Later.